What's up guys? Welcome to the Happy Trails Outdoor Experience. My name is Ryan and uh, well today we're out here again at the same spot we were at last week and we are out here foraging once again. Uh, mushroom season is at its peak. That is morel mushrooms, pheasant backs, um, amongst other things. So we're out here trying to get one last crack at everything before everything starts to become overgrown. As you can see, I'm in the same spot as I was last week. And right behind me here is the Japanese knotweed that we were finding mushrooms in last week. And you can see this stuff is like a forest now. That's just one week's difference. Last week, it was maybe a foot high. Now they're waist high. So before long, this place is gonna be like a jungle. It's gonna be damn near impossible to find anything in here so we are just trying to get as much as we can while we can with that being said i found this guy mr marcella just hanging out here it's a nice little morel mushroom and we're gonna try to find as many of these as we can today there's another one that's usually how it goes too there's another one right there it's hiding Nice. So we're, we're looking for these guys. This is our target today, but we're looking for pheasant backs, oysters, basically anything we can take home with us. Uh, it rained today, so I have a tarp in the backpack. I have a tarp in the backpack in case it starts pouring down on us. Uh, I have a walking stick made of bamboo here that I cut myself on the way in. And that's basically to push the vegetation around to make it a little bit easier on myself. Um, so I'm using it as a tool to uh, sift through everything with. But anyway, got some morels. This is the beginning of the video. Stick around guys. I'm sure that it's gonna be interesting. Um, and like and subscribe. All right guys, if I find anything else interesting, I'll get right with you. So I was just eating some Japanese knotweed while I was looking for some more morels. And I see this pattern Right down there. You see that right there? See if we can get them. Look at him. That's a, it's a leopard frog. And he's a little buddy. He ain't even scared. That's pretty cool. He's just out here enjoying the, ra the rain. Yeah, he is not even scared at all. He's totally cool with me. Yeah, they are pretty frogs. You don't see too many of these around here either. But I guess the rain brings it out. That's really cool. Nice. Alright, froggo. I put you back and leave you to do your thing. You can't even see him. Such good camouflage on these guys. Alright guys, anything else? I'll let you know. Alright guys, we got morale number three and number four. We're not doing too bad here today guys. Oh, there's another one right there. Okay, so five. Six? Uh oh. Gotta start paying attention here. Alright. I got a handful of morels already, so I'm gonna have to run these back to the bag real quick. I'll just bring the bag over with me. All right, so we're just gonna take that home with us. Put that in the bag. Trixie's over there eating something. She knows what's good for her, and she knows what's bad for her. She's old enough, she's almost 14 now, so. That's a little guy, but we'll take him. There's another little guy right there. I'll take that as well. With all the cold weather we've had, they're not very big this year, but I think this guy's a little bit past his time. I think it can be salvaged. Break that bottom part off. 
keep the top. It's got bit by a stinging nettle. This guy right here, this is called a stinging nettle. And you can actually eat these. They're edible and they're actually quite nutritious. Very good for you. But if you walk past, if you walk through a, uh, a patch of this stuff with shorts on, you're going to know all about it. It burns and it burns and it burns and it itches. But it goes away. Where's that other one I found? There's another one I saw here. Ain't that right, Pooch? There's another one. I don't know where it's at. Alright, guys. If I find any more, I'll show y'all. There's a big one sitting right here, guys. Look at that bad boy. That's the nicest one we found yet. Uh, the, how tall this knotweed's getting, it's going to be impossible here in about a week. But these mushrooms here are at their peak right now, and they're probably going to be gone in a week or two. So we got to get them while they're out here. Guys, I am a very happy camper right now. We were just about to take our verse break, and oh man, look at that guy. He's big. He's the size of my hand. And you wanna know something? It gets better than that. Hold on a second here, guys. Look at that. That is, the, that's bigger than my hand. It's like almost my forearm. Oh my goodness. That is really lucky. Those are some really nice morels right there. We're not doing too bad today, guys. Not gonna lie. I'm a pretty happy camper right now. Ah, oh boy, there's another one. It's another big one. There's another one right there. Oh yeah. Oh man. Not as big as the other two, but I won't complain. Are there any more? Are there any more? Hmm. All right, guys, if I find anything else, I'll let you know. All right, guys, I was just running these back to the bag to put them in, and I figured that I would give you guys a little bit of good information about morels. Now, for identification purposes, a morel is always going to be hollow inside. So you can see there's holes right there, right there. This guy, these are definitely morels. But you also, even if you know it's a morel, just from the experience or just by looking at it, you know that this is definitely a morel, it's still a good practice to cut them. And I will show you why. All right, so I'll show you guys why it's a good practice to cut your morels in half. Because sometimes you get a little bit of nature that likes to call the insides of these mushrooms home. And as you can see, there's a spider. That is Dolomedes vitatus. It's a very small fishing spider. Um, these guys do get pretty pretty big, about the size of my hand. Uh, Dolomedes fishing spider. So, yeah, this is a little guy. This is a baby. But he's made this mushroom... Oh, he's and very much alive. Yeah, he's he's alive. And they, they catch minnows out of the water. Like, literally. And there he goes. He's gone. He's out of my mushroom. We're both happy. So, but yeah, always cut your mushrooms in half. For identification purposes and because there is some wildlife out here that wants to make your mushrooms their home. And you can see there's some slugs on this one. We'll rehome them real quick. Get them off there. Don't want to take the slugs home. Just want the mushrooms. No slugs. So just figured I'd give you guys that good example real quick. But we're gonna we're gonna start heading that way a little ways to break different ground and we might we might even take a little break here soon
So we've been at it for about, what, an hour or two? I don't know, by the time we get here. I don't even know. It's three now, three, so, so longer than that. We've been at it for about two hours now, so we're gonna take a break here, but we're gonna walk that way first. Get some ground behind us. We haven't gone very far to be honest, and we've been pretty lucky. So let's go find ourselves some more. Tree pooch. Hey, what's in there? What's in there? Go, Higgy. Hey, come back here. Come here. Come see me. Come see me. Come on, come on, old woman. <laughs> what's in there? What's in there? What's in there? What's in there? All right, all right. That's a, all right. That's enough. Good girl. Ah, uh, it's absolutely beautiful out here. Look at this. What we have here is some Canadian wild ginger. How about that? Might dig up this root and take some home. I love me some ginger. And it's growing all over. Ginger leaves everywhere. That's awesome. It's everywhere through here. Cool. Alright. Alright guys. So, I dug this up. Thinking that this is ginger, and that is exactly what this is. Now this is our first time finding this in the wild. I've only seen this in books, so I recognized it when I saw it on the ground. Thought that that's what it was, but we have confirmed that this is wild ginger. Broke the root open, and you can just smell it. It's, it's potent, it's spicy. So I'm gonna dig up a couple of these and take it home. Who knows, might make some tea. Ginger, it's on the board. He does not want me to catch him. You follow me. I will take you to the morels. I got him. Look at him. I'm not quite sure what kind of frog this is. <laughs> I know it's a species of tree frog because he has the suction cups on his fingers. I used to be good at this sort of thing. I wanted to be a herpetologist when I was younger, and I could tell you every species of everything that was out here, but I'm a little rusty ever since I started foraging. But this is so cool. Oh, there he is. He's on the knotweed. And he'd be out here eating ants and all types of other tiny insects, and we're just gonna leave him be. Look at what I found. Oh yeah. Let's get this guy out of the ground. So he can come home with me. Nice. There's gotta be more here. Just gotta look for him. You gotta be very careful not to step on him. That's another one. We're having a very good day here. We just walked down a little ways. Haven't taken a break yet, but we're gonna need to take a break here soon. It's really hard to take a break when you're coming through on such good luck. Alright guys, find anything else? I'll let you know. Look at this little guy. He's hiding. Boop. Nice. Very good. Is there anything else out here? There's these two right here. They like to hide. They like to hide. You gotta look very hard for them. Be very careful where you're stepping. Well, I'm sure we're going to find some more, but until then, I'll see you guys when I see you. And there's another morel. We got three on this spot. There we go. It's crazy because we found those giant ones down the way, and then these ones are, are just getting started. But, here we go, there's three more for the board. Yeah! Well guys, we've finally made it down 
to the spot where we were finding all those morels last week. <laughs> we literally, I didn't even drop my backpack yet, but look at this. Right there. It's a nice little guy. I'll take you. Nice. It's the tree. It might be the tree. They just grow wherever they want to down here. I found some that weren't even next to a tree. Gotta be careful too, because some of these guys are still very small. But if we find any more else or any more morels, I'll let you guys know. I'm sure that we're gonna come up with some more. <laughs> and as you can see here, Pooch got her raincoat on. She's not too happy about it. But it is raining on us and it's raining pretty good. Luckily, I knew it was gonna rain on us and I brought a tarp with us. So we're gonna take this opportunity to take a break. We're probably gonna get something to eat. We got like protein shakes and tuna packets and some fruit. We're gonna snack on. We're just gonna watch the rain, hit the water out there on the river. And then after it passes us, we will resume the mushroom hunting. This is such a good day. And this is just relaxing and beautiful. It's kind of like forcing us to take a break, so that's really nice. The sound of the rain on the tarp. I could almost take a nap. All right, guys. I'll see you after this rain passes. I don't think it's gonna take too long. So what are we eating here on the trail? Got myself a protein shake, a granola bar, a fresh apple, a tuna packet, and some beef jerky. And my baby is eating some, <laughs> some of this plant-based jerky. I'm not all for that. <laughs> I don't know if I can get behind that. Uh, she has a tuna packet too, some dehydrated fruit, and of course she has a protein shake as well. And we're... It's a really nice day out. Even though it's raining, it's just still really nice. All right, guys, I'm gonna eat, and we're gonna get back to it. You want one of these strawberries? I'll try one. I like them, they're like candy. <laughs> the apple's really juicy. All right, everybody. We ate our snacks. We had our little lunch in our little tarp tent. You can see Trixie's still chilling in. That was nice, but me and Ashley had just started scouting this area and we very quickly realized that this is a very good area. So, gotta start collecting our uh, the fruits of our labors. Over here, We've got some pheasant backs growing on this bad boy, and I'm gonna collect those and throw them in with our morels because these things are pretty good. Look at this little button right here. That's almost not even enough to make it worth it all. This though, on the other hand, that's nice. And that's about the size that you want them because that's gonna be nice and tender. Got another one right here. Got some growing out right here. I don't see any more on this log, but that's okay. We're gonna put those in the bag. 
We're going to go find ourselves somewhere else. Because this is a good spot. The rain hit us and it was just like, stop. This is a good spot. Take a break, recoup, and then take a peek. And this is definitely a good spot. So we're going to have ourselves some fun. So I'm going to start with where I know that there's one because I saw this one before it started raining on us. And we're just going to follow the line. So we got another one right here. It's rather big. He got a little burnt on the tip, but he's still good. We can salvage that. Throw him in the bag. On to the next one. I think there's one right over here. Yep, right there. There's another one. He's a little dirty. He got some mud on him. Get that mud off there a little bit before I put him in there. Gonna have to wash him off. But he's coming home with me. It's another one. And let's see here. I thought I saw another one over here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Here's another one. This one's pretty big. That's a good sized one. There we go. Get all that stuff off of there. It's another nice one. We'll take it. And we turn around and wait until you see this. There's a really nice one right here. Oh yeah. Look at that bad boy. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Throw him in the bag. And then let's see here. I know there's another one. I know there's another one. Where is he at? Where are they at? Where are they at? There he is. There's another one right here. Right beside me. He was hiding a little bit. Not bad. Alright. Where else? Do we have any more? Growing up right here. There's another nice one right here. Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, man. That's very weird shaped for a morel. Oh, man. That's very weird. It's a morel, though. Looks like he got bent over a little bit. Start curling on himself. But I'm going to cut the muddy part off so that I'm not taking some dirt home with me and take the bottom, cut that off. The rest of that can come home with me, I suppose. Yeah. I'm not so sure that that's a morel. He doesn't look like he's hollow inside, but... Let's see here. Might be a false morel. It's definitely a morel. He's just odd. Yeah, it's, that's a good one. It's like a fistful of morel right there. In the bag with you. Come here. Come see me. Hey, yo, dear. You good girl, huh? Yeah, you good girl. Bag's starting to look pretty good there, guys. We're not done yet. And we got another one. Not a monster, but he's good. We'll take it. Come see me. Come see me. Come see me, come on. Come here, pooches. Hello there. Good girl, huh? Look at how pretty this view is, guys. Just sitting here chilling. The water is so relaxing, I just love it. You know, before I started foraging, I grew up fishing. Fishing's my first love. I spent a lot of time next to the water clearing my head as a young man and learning all kinds of stuff out here, finding myself. And as I got older, started looking around and 
It's just amazing what's all around us, but if you don't have the eyes for it, you can walk right past some amazing stuff and you would never even know. Okay, so I was just right there talking to you guys about how I grew up fishing this river, totally just watching the water. And then I was saying about how you could walk right past something and not even know if you don't have eyes for it. Start coming up this way. And would you look at this? That's a nice one. That is a really nice one. Look at this guy. Just hanging out underneath the knotweed. Two more. Tis the season. Definitely, definitely is the season. Got like, if I had to guess, we got like another week, and then they're gonna be gone for the for the year. Gone until next year. So, gotta take advantage of these good times while we while they're here. We'll keep on looking, guys. All right, here's two more guys, and they're growing right beside each other. They made it easy on us this time. One, two. I can't. When you have his chunky. Yeah, I can't wait to check out the hall when we get home. Sounds like somebody's coming back here. Well, we got packed up. We got packed up from this spot. We're gonna move on. But I was just telling Ashley, we used to camp out here, and we used to put our 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 uh, hammocks up, going from that tree. To that tree and then somebody chopped them down it wasn't us but i said to ashley i said this is crazy that we used to sleep between these two trees and now they're literally rotten and falling apart and i did that i did that same thing with this right here and i saw something moving and i was like oh my god look at this look at the size of that i don't know what larvae this belongs to if anybody else out there knows what, what kind of larva this is, comment down below and let me know what this is. But how about that? If you were in a survival situation, that would either make some really good fishing bait or even, you know, that's probably packed full of protein and, and calories if you, if you really needed to. If you're in a desperate situation, you could definitely eat that. And that's huge. That's the biggest grub I've ever seen. I'm gonna put them right back where I got them. Right down in there. But dang, I ain't never seen a grub that big before. That's gotta be like a lunar moth or something. Something huge. That that thing's gonna have wings eventually and it's gonna be huge. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go down to the next spot and try to find ourselves some more morels. Day is getting, it's getting, it's getting late for us, but I still got some fight in me. Ashley still got some fight in her. And we're going to go down and see if we can't come up with a little bit more before we decide to go home and call it quits. So, onward. And we're at it again. Nice. Just draw, uh, had some guys drive past us on a side-by-side. -side, and they said that they were looking for mushrooms too. They're all the way down the way down there. Me and Ashley were saying, if, if you could be standing right next to one and not see it, Going about it on a side-by-side, -side, you can cover a lot more ground, but you've got to be thorough when you're mushroom hunting, especially for morels. These things hide. They hide so well, and if you're moving, just scanning for them, you're never going to see them. You might find a few, some of the larger ones that are poking out, that stand out, but they obviously didn't find this one. They drove right past it, so score for me. But we're not the only ones out here. Creates a little bit of a competitive vibe, but that's okay. This land is my land, this land is your land, and we can share. But that is a nice mushroom right there. That is fresh. It's beautiful. I'm gonna put this in the bag and I think we're gonna keep on rolling because I don't see any more around here.
They may have been through here. Would you check this little guy out? Any little frog just chilling. That's one of those tree frogs I was showing you guys earlier, but this is a different one. The other one that we found earlier was darker. This one's a little bit lighter. I think that's the, the distinction between male and female. That's so cool. Just hanging out. Come here. Let's go. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, I'll see you later. Check out what I found. Nice big old pheasant back. And uh, that's, the, that's getting a little bit big to eat. But what you do is you cut around the edges and the edges are still nice and tender. You can still eat that. So we'll take this home with us and we'll clean it up. Still edible. Well, aren't you guys cute? I love you guys. I do too. Yeah, pooch. Eating strawberries? You're a weird dog. You're not supposed to like strawberries. <laughs> all right, guys. I think that's all the time that we have for today. We came, we saw, we found some morels. That was our goal. And we did pretty well. Trixie's tired. I'm tired. Ashley's tired. But this is our haul for the day. Not too bad. Got a couple of pheasant backs up here and all the rest of morels. And as you can see, some of these guys are pretty big. Anyway, uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll take all the support that I can get because it would be a dream come true if I could get monetized on this channel so that I could do this every single day. It would be a life stream come true if I could just be out here learning and exploring every single day doing what I love. So it means the world to me. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week here on the Happy Trails Outdoor Experience. Ain't that right, Pooch? Ain't that right? Yee-gee! Yeah!